Uh, I think Octavius Morgan, you know, he's the guy who really came on in the spring, the second year, everything slow, slowed down for me, understands the defense, what Coach Gibbs is trying to accomplish on each call. And, He's playing like it. he's playing loose and, and fast, and uh, he made a couple really nice plays out there today. So, with your mindset going into what what you're expecting from practice and what what everything, did this exceed your expectations? Uh, I think the first day, you know, you're just always excited to be out there. I don't really put expectations on it. Um, guys are excited to be back playing football, and, and they moved around well. And we have a bunch of guys who have experience and know how we practice. And so, I thought it went fairly smoothly for day one. Go get pads tomorrow. We'll be in pads on Sunday. We got to do two days without. Two yeah, days. two days without. So tomorrow will be a very similar setup, and uh, then Sunday we'll put the shoulder pads on. Coach, how's the outside turf uh, playing out there? It's awesome. You know, the grass they did a tremendous job. Um, it took a long time for them to get that, and we let it sit for a few months. And um, it's beautiful. They've really done a nice job with this setup, the indoor and the new turf and the grass. It's uh, aesthetically, you know, really, really nice. Do you think guys handle the emotions of that kind of first day of practice well, or do you think it's always kind of like the excitement sometimes? Yeah, I think that, you know, they wear themselves out and stretch um, that first day because they're so fired up. And so we had a few guys crammed, a few guys worn out, but um, that's what you want. You want high energy, you want them to want to be out there, and I felt like we, we had that. What if since uh, Cam handled your punt return duties for the last three years, there's really no <laughs> blame the team that's done it in a game? Right. How many different people are you just sort of? Yeah, I, you know, right now four or five. Um, we feel good about some guys that had done it in high school and are sure, sure-handed. And um, you know, Cam was such a smart, heady player, sure-handed. It's hard to replace a guy like that. But I think we have some guys who can can handle it. Which I saw early get Jenny on Zach Austin, mm-hmm. and Tajon, uh, Henry. Henry. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. So those guys. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Keyshawn may be a guy that, that we can get back there, but you know, with Jay High and um, Zach and Seth, they're older guys. They've been in games. Um, they, they're sure-handed, and so we're, we're going to kind of start with them and go from there. Is Keyshawn. that going to be? I'm sorry, Keyshawn. Keyshawn. Yes. Is that going to be full go? I know who went in a blue jersey. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to work him. You know, up to speed. We know he's been a six-year guy. He's been here every year. I've been here. Uh, he knows the offense inside and out. Very heady player player he's been great for the young guys really helping them out and so he's a guy that if we can just get to the game we feel confident he can get be in the right spot he's going to catch the ball and he's going to make the play for us uh, jay sean was in a blue jersey is he nicked up or what was yeah he's, he's banged up so we're going to take that slow with him and uh kind of see how he progresses what's going on with him uh shoulder okay. banged up his shoulder so so you yeah, Antoine, he, he's, um, he had a little hip, but he'll be full go here shortly. We're just the same deal, taking it slow. For those younger guys that are kind of in their first camp, with you, what's kind of your advice you give them when they ask, okay, how do I survive the first two, three weeks until you get you know, fully comfortable? Yeah, just you know, stay, stay even keel. Don't get too high or too low. Uh, you're going to feel overwhelmed at times. It's moving fast. Everybody's bigger, faster, stronger. We put in a lot on a, a daily basis trying to push those guys and, and push the limits of, of what they can handle mentally. Uh, so I think that's the biggest point of advice. Don't get too high, too low, keep working hard, and it'll slow down for you. So are you happy to see how well the upperclassmen and your 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 returning players have, have helped these new guys kind of get started back into the program? Yeah, no question. We have a good mix. We've got all those guys returning on defense, and then um, some veteran players, some six-year wide receivers have been great for those young wideouts. You know, two senior running backs that have been great for those running backs. Um, you know, a veteran O line coming back. So there's been a lot of experience, and uh, those guys have really embraced the, the young guys and, and helped them uh, through these early months. Got time for about two more. Those freshman running backs, Roderick and uh, Tayshawn, I mean, they look bigger in person to me. I know they're not in pads, but uh, how have they look so far? Yeah, they're solid. You know, they're both well built. Good, good. Uh, both very competitive. Both handled their business well on and off the field all summer, and I expect them both to contribute, you know, in some way. I don't, I don't know to what extent yet, but I, I like what I've seen. Coach, you're using the Mason uh, Reed and Tyler Carr tight end position with uh, how Coach Johns likes to use that position. To, what's their plan moving forward? Yeah, we'll see. You know, Dante, Tyler, Mason. Um, we're gonna move those guys around, put them in different spots to help us in the run game and. Uh, different things like that. So all three of those guys are kind of bodies we can use in, in that role. Did, uh, Thanks, Coach. Related to that, did, did 
what Tyler did last year, did that kind of put him at the top of the chart? And we'll, with, we'll, with we'll see. Much time, you know, I was going to say, with how much time Mason missed. Is yeah, that, that's the biggest thing is, we, you know, he's got to be available, and he knows that. So he's got to prove to us that he's going to be available. And, um, you know, week to week, we can count on him to be there.